It was 17 years for Youngstown State from the last time they was in one till 2016. Alabama went from that point, they started to dominate college football for the next decade. I have the feeling, and I follow this program, this, I, I bleed Youngstown. I got a feeling we're in the midst of that same type of run right now, especially being here talking to some of you guys right now. I think you got an opportunity to do something special. You got an opportunity in this decade, some of y'all, we weren't even born in the, in the 90s. I'm talking about right now to be relevant and do something special. Change the game. Change generations of people's lives. Change your family's life. Change people around here's lives. You guys have an opportunity to do something special and just change everything. So I'm like, well, how can I add value to people even when they're out of sports? What tips can I give you that even when you graduate, it's gonna help you get money and help you be successful when you, when you get out of sports? What can I do to compare both football and life and give you value in both in both of those areas because here's the thing one of my best friends in the world some of y'all might be too young to know Maurice Claret anybody know, know Maurice freshman year at Ohio State wins a national championship he's all everything then he does five years in prison wasn't no football after that so my cousin played at Syracuse one of the best running backs in Syracuse history Walter Reyes led the league as, not, as a freshman his junior year Led the league in touchdowns, all the college football, 19 touchdowns, tied Larry Fitzgerald, promised to go to the pros. Last year, I buried Walter Reyes, buried him. Never in a million years did I think either one of those things was, go was gonna happen. And so I wanna talk to you about things that you can apply in your life after this. Is these one year, three year, two year, three year, this about to blow, poop, it's gonna be gone fast don't seem like it in the middle of camp I know that but it's gonna boom it's gonna be gone before you know it you're gonna miss every sore you have any bump bruises you're gonna miss all of that stuff that you didn't think that you was gonna miss and so I'm gonna start off here's what I got four things for you it's gonna help you in life and to win a national championship here number one sacrifice sacrifice what sacrifice women time with women you might have to sacrifice that to go do what you need to do in order to win. Sacrifice what else? Weed. Sacrifice what for your teammates? You can't be, only you know. You pee dirty in the, for the NCAA and then you out games. Who did you really sell out? Not yourself. Who did you truly, and I'm talking to you real. Who did you truly let down? See, the, what sacrifice is, is it means you got to give up something that you want to get something bigger to accomplish something more. And it's never easy. It's easy to sacrifice the easy stuff. It's hard to sacrifice the stuff that you like, the stuff that you want. The second thing, loyalty. Loyalty is rare, extremely rare. So who you gotta be loyal to? You gotta be loyal to your teammates. You gotta be loyal to yourself. There can't be that disease up in here the disease of me. The disease of me kills more championship caliber teams than I've ever seen in my life. The disease of me. What I want. So you scored a touchdown, we sharing snaps as a running back, I ain't happy for you because I got the disease of me. I'm third string, I ain't going as hard, I ain't practicing as hard. I ain't helping out my teammates because I'm not going to start this week. You got the disease of me. And the bad thing about the disease of me is there's a real thing in life called karma. And so if you all in and you paying the price and you being a great teammate, you third string, you giving everybody a good look, you going hard, you scout team, all of a sudden, who was once third string makes history. A couple years back, I went to go see Ohio State play, uh, ironically, that's when Tress got inducted into the College Football Hall of Fame. I went to go see Ohio State and Oregon play in Dallas. First string quarterback, out. Second string quarterback, out. Randomly, all of a sudden, a dude that never played, third string quarterback, goes against Oregon. First drive of the game, I'm there. Oregon blows them out, blows down the field. They go on to beat the freaking brakes off of Oregon. Third string quarterback. Look up the story of Tom Brady. 
Tom Brady got in the game because Drew Bledsoe's ass got hurt and he was prepared. It's too late for you to get prepared when your number gets called. At some point, you're going to get an opportunity. And if you stay ready, you ain't going to have to get ready. At some point, it's going to be the right time. You ever hear being at the right time at the right place? You ever hear that? Being at the right place at the right time? If your ass is always in the right place, at some point, it's going to be your time. Next thing, work ethic. Told you this is how you get to millions, too. This is how you get to millions. What's necessary is an impeccable work ethic. Give me some unmotivated talent, I don't want them. I get them out of my locker room in business. That's how I built this. I run it like a football team. Only experience I had was hustling and playing football. So I run my business the exact same way, morally, ethically, like a football team that hustles. And I'm telling you, give me the person with the work ethic, with good talent, over the person with super duper talent, unmotivated. I don't even want those people around me. Work ethic. You gotta be willing to out work somebody else to win these inches that we're talking about. Life is this. Life is this. Life is this. Life, you want to be a part of the top 1%, top 5%? In school, 92% cuts it. That'll give you an A. Here, 92%, you fail. You got to go 100 if you want to win it all. Because there's somebody out there right now that wants it just as bad as you. And we got about 45 to 50 weeks. You don't think you could change everything in 45 to 50 weeks? The team that you see in the playoffs, that's the most prepared, might not be the team that's the most prepared today. You got to get better on Tuesday. You got to get better on Sunday. You got to get better on Saturday. And when you're feeling bad for yourself on Saturday because you've been grinding all week, that's when you got to grind some more. That's overtime. Adversity, adversity. We all gonna graduate from Youngstown State University. The biggest university you need, you need to graduate from is the University of Adversity. At some point, we're gonna have major adversity here. At some point, something's going to happen. Either you're gonna get down 14 nothing or your quarterback gonna get injured, or your running back gonna get injured, or somebody gonna sell you out, get in, get in trouble, your star player. At some point, this team is gonna be faced with adversity, and guess what? That's life. It's a guarantee you're gonna have adversity. It's how you respond to that adversity that's gonna determine the level of success and the money that you make. You got an opportunity to do something special. You got an opportunity of a lifetime right now, but guess what? You got to take advantage of that opportunity during the lifetime of that opportunity. It, it expires, it's like milk. It ain't always going to be here. Seniors, you got one year. That's it, maybe. What are you going to do with that? And this is an inside job. In this locker room, in this team, you guys are in control. I just want to thank you for letting my dream come true and having the opportunity to speak to you guys today. Let's go Youngstown State Penguins. Thank you.